This is my Crasula Fantasy Varigara. It's got new bubbles. One, two, three, all. Oh. I was gonna uh, cut that out, but anyway. So this is now. Should I still say this is my original plant? Because this was my original plant here. So in this video, I'd like to show you how I'm going to propagate this beautiful, beautiful Crasula Fantasy Varigata. Hello there. My name is Liz. A self-confessed succulent addict, welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. So, this was given to me by a friend of mine. Thank you very much, Lynn. From one plant, okay, this is now, I think, I don't want to really pull it off but I'm gonna pull it off there you go because it's just hanging off in there and those three babies there you see the three babies it is so cute so I can't put it back there so there's one two and <gasps> there's more babies okay there's another one hiding there so once upon a time you're going to pay about $50 for one plant like this okay so just one stem uh, two inches long or maybe less is uh, the going price is about fifty dollars Australian so now they've come down in prices it's a little bit cheaper but still it's a pretty expensive plant so anyway so if you were to grow this they're quite easy to grow I have them growing in my advanced soil mix in a tiny little pot because when I got it, it's a bit stupid to put it in a big pot when you only got one plant like that, one stem. See, so, but then now they have grown so much that from one stem, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven plants plus all these babies. So I got one, two, three, four more babies. Probably there's another one hiding in the bottom there. But anyway, they are actually not hard to look after. They're quite easy to look after. So this one, maybe I will transplant it later on. But at the moment, they're supposed to be, crassulas are supposed to be dormant in summer. But with the weather we're having, we're still getting cold days. And next week, uh, the following week, the forecast into the new year will be cold. Cold for summer. Because normally, our summer would be hitting high 20s and high 30s degrees Celsius. But this year, we're still hovering. Or our temperature is still in the 20s or under 20s. How about I just bring this inside and grow it under the grow light. So now I'm going to take my square black pot. I'll take my square pot and put it in the square black pot and that's got coconut seed raising mix and I'm just going to leave it here for now and just lay it there. So the roots or the tip of it, there's no roots yet, but the tip of it is just sort of in mid-air, okay? And I'm just going to leave it there for a while to dry up for a couple of days before I actually stick that into soil. This is now two days later. I've already wet my seed racing cocoa peat or coconut coir, coconut peat. So coconut, not peat moss. And, but you can also use peat moss if you prefer. But in two days, okay, I'm just going to see if it's going to focus. I can see a tiny bit of root sticking out. Can you see that? So that real hair strand, I'm not going to move, say there just hoping you'd actually see that but there's like a little strand of hair okay that um sort of sticking out and below that there's a little white tip so that's a tiny little root trying to come out so now with this one now what i'm gonna do is okay so i've had those i've got those three babies and what we want to do is remove those dry leaves so we'll just take off the dry leaves I've already removed one and I can't see what I'm doing here but anyway <laughs> so we'll just take them off just so we can expose the stem okay so beautiful so just check as well that looks like it's got a little bit of fluff uh, from a white fluff 
uh, from a mealy bug but there's no mealy bug anyway so it's probably long gone and these three babies now I am going to remove them you got one come on baby okay so you got one cute little crassula fantasy so the soil is now moist so I'm just gonna do one there and we're gonna take off the other two there you go so that one now you can leave this to dry but anyway I'm just gonna put some sand this is just sand just on the surface the trick is on freshly cut sort of open uh, propagated leaves or stem so that one is fairly dry so that's why I'm just putting it straight but uh, the other one this one is still pretty green so you can see that's still pretty fresh and anything is like an open wound if you got an open wound you stick it in the soil then it's gonna rot but this one I'm putting sand and just lay it on top don't push it in don't whatever maybe lightly just so as to set it but it's only touching the dry sand now the other baby now I'm going to uh, just remove the bottom bit okay so now we're gonna take the baby off I could leave it if uh, I'm feeling a bit scared that it might rot but not scared of anything I'm afraid of nothing okay so now I've removed it now we're gonna put it here you can stay there and then this one now even though you have just removed all those beautiful babies we can stick this in the soil there you go so now we do a hole and so this is just cocoa peat and that's one way of propagating crassula fantasy so you're going to end up with one two three well four plants plus that one when it grows is going to shoot out more babies so what i'm going to do now so this is my little pot of one two three four five six and another baby in there so what I'm going to do now is first up I'm going to remove this one so I'll just take this off and twist it or better yet chop it off so we'll chop one off see that's this old dry stem so we just chop it off and that's pretty uh, green still but that's already dried up the leaves in the bottom and also the other one We'll do the same so I got two babies okay we'll put that aside and this one now I'm taking this out I could just leave this in this pot here and let them grow uh, naturally or oh there's another baby inside there so we're best transplanting this I would really like to transplant this one hey Pedro got my budgie talking on my shoulder you're gonna talk because you like to talk on top of mommy don't you okay so now that's it so look at the roots see look how healthy the root system so anyway I'm just gonna angle my light here because you can't really see there you go so nice healthy root system so I'm just gonna leave it as is and I'm going to repot so I've got my pot here beautiful just brown pot that's I just drilled the hole in it that's why it's got all that powdery stuff but anyway we'll put my thingamajig there the lace curtain and I'm gonna put some and I'm gonna put some <laughs> the budget just keeps flying on my shoulder yes I know and I'm just gonna put some this is just big pieces of granite just to hold the lace curtain in place and then this one's now I'm even gonna recycle this and then just keep that out in there and I'm gonna put my soil there you go perfect 
So whatever excess is excess. Okay, there you go. So that's it. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant this one. But look at that. So cute. The baby. Look at the baby. So there's one baby in there and you've got more baby. I thought I saw another one on the other side, but it's not. So that one, that little baby is going to grow out to be like this one as well. So you're going to end up with five. Excellent. So we're going to put that in the center there and we're going to transplant it. And we're not finished yet. So the soil is fairly moist. So that's not a problem. And I'm going to put some granite. You can use pumice as well for your top dressing. It doesn't really make any difference, but however, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put both. Okay. Just so it can look pretty and there you go. Make a mess. It's not really a mess. Okay. There you go. So we just reduce that. And the couple that we've taken away, we'll put one here. That's why I have to put some pumice or dressings quite thickly. And then that way I can bury this into the soil. But it's not really the soil. It's mostly the top dressing that we're putting it in and that's it and now I'm going to put this away outside back to where I had it and I'm going to leave it for about a week before I water it but then if it rains and it gets rained on then it doesn't really matter so now my other well this beautiful baby used to live up the top here and I don't really have any space in there so I'm just gonna put it down into the second shelf and the third shelf so it's still exposed to the element but you've got overhead covering from the frost but we're not gonna get the frost anyway so and if we do get the frost or um, in winter by that time they would have already grown and would have acclimatized to the frost so for now you're just gonna stay there and we're going to put a little crystal on you just so you don't feel alone. And then we'll put that one at the back just so as to stop our dressing from falling out. See you next year, but I'm sure I'm still going to do an update uh, on this plant. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. And then now, now let's go say hello to Simba. Hello Simba. I need to propagate this as well. I kept forgetting and I kept taking it inside and bringing taking it back here again. So anyway, I finally have a variegated black prince. Look at that. See the variegation? One, two. So I want more. So variegate some more. And that is beautiful. It's called Guaptaveria Marble Tone. And this variegated one here, beautiful Rolly. Oh, look at the baby. Aren't you gorgeous? You've got a gorgeous look. It's almost like a miniature Compton carousel. Beautiful variegation. And of course, who can resist you? So I'm going to keep you updated as to the progress of this Prasula. So watch my future vlogs. I'm not going to do a separate Crasula fantasy video but just incorporated into one of my succulents and coffee vlogs.